Hey everybody, so a question I get a lot, and questions, is what camera do I use, how is it set up, what microphone, how is it attached, and all those sorts of things. So I'm going to go through and explain the setup and a bit about the cameras and stuff. Okay, so this is the helmet that I use, it's an Icon variant. It's become quite cliche for motor vloggers to use these. Um, I did get mine quite early on, so I wasn't quite one of the ones who jumped on the bandwagon, I just saw it and liked it. Um, but... There is a reason I think they're very good for vloggers, uh, and that is to do with this space in the front here. You see, with a normal helmet, when you're talking, the, the cheek, this guard is normally very close to your mouth, so you're sort of talking a bit like this, it's a bit muffled, a bit echoey. I think one of the reasons that people with variants, I've noticed, and I myself, get good audio, is because the sound can escape. It doesn't bounce around in there so much. Also, it's got this soft rubber around the inside, which means I think that really absorbs the, the sound wave. So rather than it, so again, echoing around and becoming muffled, it becomes much clearer. You don't have to use one of these helmets at all. It's not required. Some people get some very good audio out of their helmets, but people say, why do I use it? Why do vloggers use them? That's probably why. And also, it's the look. It's cool. So, cameras themselves. I use a Drift Ghost. Uh, it has been surpassed by the Drift Ghost S, which has better night capabilities, a higher frame rates at 1080p. Um, there's also a little problem with the Ghost, which everyone has got, whether you've noticed it or not, but there's a little hum in the background. Um, particularly noticeable if it's very quiet when you're recording. It's annoying as hell. Uh, every single one of them's got it, but they seem to have fixed that in the S, so you know, maybe go for the S if that's going to annoy you that much. Um, you can't notice it when you're talking and riding and everything normally. It literally is in the real quiet, dead moments, but anyway. I use this, which is a goggle mount, as you can see, it's a big plate. Uh, the the stick-on one you'll get with the camera if you get a ghost, for instance, is about as big as the mount itself and it just sticks straight on. The reason I like to use the goggle mount is because I have it attached by Velcro. It's just the way that it used to get done. The advantage is that when you put the microphone cable, when you're not vlogging, you can just poke it up, you see that, just in there. So it's all neat and tidy and out of the way. So when I do want to vlog, I literally just grab the camera, slide it on, plug it in, and that's it. So I can have that in my pocket and be ready to vlog in literally like 20 seconds. Microphones. People ask me, what microphone do you use? And I don't understand this question in the same way that I don't understand the question of how do you attach these cameras because it is what it is. Uh, it is the Drift Ghost mic. Um, now, placement I find is very, very, very important. Um, particularly the one thing everyone wants to try and get rid of is wind noise. So how do you get rid of wind noise? Don't put the microphone in the way of the wind is the first thing. I've seen people put them right down on this edge and it's like, well, that's never going to work. I suggest putting it well out of the wind and the best place is in here. And you can't see my mic because it's dark and also because it's behind the cheek pad. It actually does just stick out the front slightly, but being behind the cheek pad and in my old AGV helmet, it used to be inside the cheek pad. It's completely blocked off from the wind, it's got a windbreak round it basically, which is the cheek pad itself, and it still picks up the audio perfectly clearly. Oh, you might want to put a bigger end on it. Um, you know, they come with these, well, this isn't it, this is my Scarlet Rider G4, but an example. You know, they get these little foamy ends. The one on the Ghost itself is tiny, uh, is useless, I don't understand why they put such a small one on it. You want something bigger, so if you can get a hold of one of these, or something to to put around it so it deadens the noise a little bit more, that's the best way. I've basically got the standard one with a ball mic that came with this over the end of that, uh, and then that's all wedged behind the cheek pad. So it really is right in there, secure and very, very protected, but it still gives you the audio because it's, it's sensitive enough. That's the thing about mic sensitivity. Must be on one. If you have a ghost or any of the drift, mic sensitivity one, anything above it ruins it. You, it's not recoverable, it's done. <laughs> so, yeah, mic sensitivity one, very important. Camera placement, that's another one. Now, obviously, you've got a choice. You can either put the camera on, I have on the side. Some people put it on the top. The reason I like it to be on the side and not on the top is because on the top you get this strange up in the air, no biking screen normally reference. It just looks like a, just a picture going like this. There's no reference to a bike in it. By having this on the side of your helmet, you see the side of your helmet, you see, like, you can see, as you're going along, you can see the bike. 
just to me it feels much more on board. The, the ones when it's on the top of the helmet and all you see is just a square window with no bike, I actually find those quite boring and off-putting because you don't see the person. Um, but that's just personal preference I guess. Another one newbies do is when you put the camera on the helmet make sure that it isn't straight in line with the helmet because people they like they'll get it right like this and they'll be thinking why why is it always pointing at the ground it's because you don't ride with your head straight like this you ride with your head tilted down so you need the camera you can see it's slightly tilted up to be in line so when my head goes along like this the camera is straight very important because you so you don't want crutch bike road nothing in the distance it needs to be a good balance another one to mention is the rotation of the lens now most a lot of these types of cameras have got rotatable lenses unlike the gopro um where you have to rotate the whole camera and it sits out on the side like this or on the face like a predator but i'm not a fan of gopros by the way <laughs> um yeah rotate the lens to make sure that the way the camera is sitting off the body of the helmet and it's slightly tilted it puts the lens back in line a bit of trial and error and you'll get it straight but it's important to do that because it just makes the video look a lot better and more professional if it's you know straight and not crooked off to one side people say what camera should i buy again a question i can't really answer for you because i don't know what you want to use the camera for if you're looking to become a vlogger and you want to become successful at it um i'm not saying that you can't with a cheaper camera but you need to have good video and audio quality and if you buy something like a ghost s or a ghost or one of the other cameras there's many out there i'll get onto that in a minute um it's going to do you better because it's going to be clear and that leads me to the next question that i get which is i want to start vlogging but i can't afford to go for one of those cameras fair enough you know, they're not cheap, they're not massively expensive, but they're not cheap. Uh, what could I get in a cheaper range? And I think most people are thinking not 100 to 150 pounds, roughly. Uh, as I say, if you look on actioncameras.co.uk, uh, and you can use my code I'm spicy to get 10% off. Um, obviously, if you buy a ghost or something, you're going to save yourself 30 quid. So it's well worth doing. Um, but yeah, if you want to go something a bit cheaper, you can still get the 10% off. There's things like the replay. 1080 mini um, I think that's the one you can put the external microphone into uh, that's a point yeah people have asked me can I use a helmet camera without an external microphone you know I plug in one and still vlog with it no it'll just pick up wind noise it's I don't understand how you think that would work um, but no but the mic's only 20 quid anyway so it's not really you know a big deal but as I was saying cheaper cameras I've seen this replay 1080 HD and I've seen some reviews for it and it seems like the image quality is quite good the sound quality is good with the external microphone battery life is quite good and it's I actually tried to get hold of one to do a review on it for you um, because I thought it would be a good lower budget option uh, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get hold of one to review so it's a shame but uh, for what I say look at other people's reviews who've actually owned them people are vlogging with them they seem to be all right so that's that's an option but as I say look on actioncameras.co.uk of course, for some people, they don't want a camera to vlog with. They want it for insurance purposes. You know, if you've got a camera on your head, anyone does anything, there's no arguments, you've got it on film. So they are very good. So you could get a, a lot cheaper one and just have that on your helmet. A cheaper one um, that, you know, is just good enough to for insurance purposes. Or you might even want to just record video, you know, when you're out with the mates. There are lots of cameras to choose from these days. So if you look on action cameras, you'll see there is loads of choices. When I started out, there really wasn't that many. Um, I am not a fan of GoPro in any way. I'll be honest, I've never owned one, but I know many people that have. I don't like the mounting options. I don't like the way that the lens is on the side of the box and not on the end of it like it should be. Why is it side on? Um, makes sense for if you've got it on a car or something, but it doesn't make any sense for being on a helmet mount. So that's why I'd say keep away from GoPro including their reliability problems of which there are lots well i hope that explains everything from whether you're going to be looking to get a camera to vlog with whether you want a cheaper camera to vlog with whether you are going to get a camera just for insurance purposes or whether you're going to get a camera just you know record stuff with your mates um you choose how much you want to spend and work out what camera you can get from there but obviously as i say if you're going to do it seriously and you really mean you're like i want to keep vlogging i'm going to keep at it for years then it is definitely worth going for a good camera because it's nice to have good audio and video and people like watching it. Anyway, I'll catch you next time. Yeah, it's a bit of a it's just like, 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 it's just